Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how to create action in Excel queue and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. In the earlier session we have already learned what is an action. So if I go to a web application, I am going to the QBank application. Now here we have a login page. In the earlier session, we have already created a context for login page. Now suppose I do a login on this login page. I will enter a username, enter the password and click on the sign in button. So this will be a action and I can name this as login to QBank. So action are the activities that a user performs on a, in a context or on a web page in case of web application and here I'm going to create a action for login to QBank and then log out from QBank. Now here one thing to note is action starts in a context. For example, this is a login page context we created earlier. It will start in one context and can lead to any other context or the same context. For example, in case of a login to QBank action, it will start on this page, login page and then end at the home page or the account summary page. So it will end in the account summary page context. Other thing is uh, action should be a meaningful functionality. For example, if I just enter a username here, that is not an action. That will be a statement or a command in an action. However, it should be a meaningful functionality. For example, in case of login, it should be enter username, enter password and click on sign in button. When we do logout action, in that case, there may be a single statement like click on logout but still that is a complete functionality. So let's get started. I will write the steps here. Also let me copy the URL of the application that I'm going to use and the credentials for you in the notes here and all these notes will be available to you. So the username on this application is John Todd with J in lowercase and password is pass123 and again P in lowercase and these are the application details I am going to use in this session. So here step number one will be log into your Excel queue account. So in my case I am already logged in and then step number two will be click on the plus button or the plus icon and select action. So if you go to your Excel queue, you can see here we have this plus icon. You can click here and then we have the option for action. Click here and this will open the new action window and here you can provide the action name and other details. So step number three here is provide action name and other details. Now here I will say the name is login to QBank and description is optional. You can give any description and here you can see we have to provide where the context belongs, where this action belongs to which context. So action always belongs or starts in some context. So in this case, it will be the login page context that we had created earlier and then the destination context. This is the context where we will land up after doing this action. So in this case, it will be the account summary page. So after login, I will land up here. Tags are optional. Tags will help you to search for this action later on. I will say save and continue. And this takes us to the logic editor for creating the statements for this action. Now here, you will also find all these context, the context where this action belongs to and the destination context is here. You can just click on any of this context and go to that context. So it will take you to that context. And then here I can start writing my steps or the statements or the commands. So uh, here it is called statements or commands. Now this is very easy and very intuitive in Excel queue. You do not have to remember everything. I will show you in a moment how exactly you can create these statements or commands without having to remember any of the commands. For now, I will start typing. If I say enter, so I have to enter username in this username text box. So here I will start typing enter and as I type, I am getting all the suggestions here. 
so you can see all the suggestions here is a suggestion this option enter text in element this is what I want to use also there is this information icon if I click here it gives me the information about this statement so this enters given text in the input field and it takes two parameters the input text that is the text you need to enter and the UI element where we need to enter the text so I will just click here or press enter and now I have to give the username I will say here John dot Todd and press enter now you can also parameterize all these values as of now I am giving these hard-coded values we will learn all this later now in the UI element I will provide the username input element here we have we had created it earlier and then the next step is the next statement or command is we have to enter password so here I will again start typing enter now I can use the same statement enter text in element or in case I want to keep my password hidden I can say enter encrypted text in input field now I do not have to remember all this what I can do is if you see at the bottom you will see we have a views section here and if you click on this views it will open the view where this action belongs to so this action belongs to the login page uh, context and this is the view that we created in the login page context and here we have the login page view so I can directly go to the element for example this is password element I will do a right click and you can see I'm already getting all the suggestions that I might want to add a statement for so it is already showing me enter encrypted text in the input field as the first option in case you want to um, have any other statement you can always do a right click here let me show you you can do a right click here and you can start typing and it will show you all the options but most of the times you will get your option right away I will click here and you can see it has already completed the statement it has already taken the password input element I just have to provide my password here so I will say pass123 and it is hidden and encrypted and press enter and then I have to click on the sign in button so again I can just say click and as I start typing I'm getting this option click and I just have to provide the UI element and that's it so the action is created in this at this stage if you go to navigator and go to actions your action should be displayed here so this is step number four will be provide statements or commands and then uh, let me also create the next action for logout from QBank I will click on this plus button select action and this is logout from QBank description is optional the context where this action belongs to is account summary page and after this action that is after I click on logout I will land up on the login page so destination context will be login page I will say save and continue and here again I am on the logic editor you can see all these context are shown here and then I have to provide my statements or commands here I can directly go to the views and this should show me the account summary page view and here is the logout button I will do a right click and I am getting this option click right away I will select this and this has created the complete statement I do not have to do any manual intervention here also uh, it is very easy in Excel queue if you want to let us say I want to verify this element I will do a right click and now here although I am already getting all these options verify element and all these things if I start typing verify I am getting all the verification statements now let's say you do not remember that all these statements start with verify let us say I select I write here check still I am getting the verification statements so you do not need to remember any any commands or any statements or you can directly 
create statements from the view and it is very intuitive you just have to type anything that you can think of and it will show you the options here so I will just select this verify element exist and it has created this statement verify that logout button exist and if failed do you want to continue or abort the test case I will just say abort test case and actually this should be the first statement so I can drag and drop this here and this should come up yeah so this is verify that logout button is present and then click on the logout element and here on this section you can see all the information and details about the action we have info then we have element and then params and sharing we will learn about all this later so this is how you create an action if I go to navigator and go to actions we have the actions created here now in the next session we are going to use these actions and then create a scenario and in Excel queue it is very flexible we are going in a sequence that we create a context first and then actions and then scenario however you can right away start creating a scenario and then you can create actions context and actions on the fly so all these options we are going to see in the coming sessions I hope this was very useful for you thanks a lot for watching